Good morning and welcome to St. John's Lutheran Church of Maguanago. It is morning prayer for Friday, uh, November 27th. And as we begin uh, this morning prayer, just looking back, uh, talk about Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for these uh, devotions to have been a part of this, to be a part of this. Um, we've been able to do this now for about eight months um, running and the feedback we get, the, the joy that is uh, to produce these and the joy that is uh, to, to share these uh, moments in God's word with you. We're thankful um, for it. Devotion's a little bit different um, this morning. I'm still on the heels of Thanksgiving, uh, just focusing on the blessings of uh, Thanksgiving. We begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The eyes of all look to you, O Lord. You give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. For the gift of this day and the opportunity to give you praise, glory to you, O Lord. For the love and warmth of family and friends, both those gathered here and those gathered elsewhere, and most of all for those gathered to the eternal home, glory to you, O Lord. For the good gift of children, grandchildren, to nurture in your love and fear, for the blessing of hearth and home, glory to you, O Lord. For the joyful noise of infants cooing and children at play, and for the honor of serving them, knowing they are beloved by you, glory to you, O Lord. For the good you so graciously provide, for the food you so graciously provide us, and for the joy of feasting and playing together, Glory to you, O Lord, for the sufferings you are pleased to send us, for they purify us from selfishness and remind us of the one thing needful, your eternal kingdom. Glory to you, O Lord. And finally, for those things for which we are most thankful, the sweet comfort of your gospel, the forgiveness of all our sins by the blood of our Lord Jesus, the promise of our resurrection to eternal life, for the joyful companionship afforded by the church, for your word, which is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, for the gifts of baptism and the Eucharist, for our pastors and everyone who faithfully serve to us your best and highest gifts. Glory to you, O Lord. There are other things to give thanks to God for, of course. Did anything about that list strike you? As odd, maybe it's praying for the blessing of family and friends um, when for many this Thanksgiving was different and that your time with family and friends was spent on telephone or FaceTime or via a Zoom call. Maybe it struck you uh, to pray for the blessing of parents and grandparents and that maybe this is the first Thanksgiving you have celebrated without them as um, they're distant from you or maybe been called to their eternal rest. I think the thing that struck me most about this litany is praising and thanking God for a time of suffering. Not usually the first thing to come to my lips when I think of suffering is thank you, Lord. Um, Martin Rinker, Lutheran pastor, 1600s, uh, wrote a hymn that uh, most, if not all of us, can associate with Thanksgiving now thank we all our God with hearts and hands and voices. The The history of the hymn is, is debated when exactly it was written, but I think it is fair um, either during the Thirty Years' War or on the heels of the Thirty Years' War. Um, the bloodshed uh, that uh, Pastor Rinkert had seen shed, the loss of life um, because of war and, and other contributing factors, the loss of his own wife, um, doing funerals at, at such a number where he, where he probably didn't know uh, his right hand from his left, but just the, the sheer volume of beloved Christians uh, whose funerals he had to, had to preside over, that Pastor Rinker puts pen to paper, and the first thing that comes to God is, uh, is Thanksgiving. Um, this Thanksgiving um, 2020, um, we rejoice in all that the Lord has seen fit to give us, that which is seemingly good and that which seemingly um, is not good, trusting in his gracious hand, trusting in his promises, trusting in his rule, and most of all, trusting in the forgiveness of sins. 
which is which is a new uh, again for us this very day. Um, we're going to close this devotion with a prayer and then a recording of now thank we all our God. And, and as you hear that recording, um, that you're mindful, whatever the circumstance in life, um, that these words um, will, ever, will ever ring true. Um, now thank we all our God with hearts and hands and voices, who wondrous things has done in whom this world rejoices who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. That countless gift of love still belongs to us today in our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Almighty God, your mercies are new every morning. You graciously provide for all our needs of body and soul. Grant us your Holy Spirit that we may acknowledge your goodness Give thanks for your benefits and serve you in willing obedience all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with us all. Amen.